Afternoon, it's the 20th of March 2020, so it's 23, 2020, bloody hell. Guess where I am now? Only down outside the parish church of St. Luke in good old Grime Thorpe, grimy. And look at this for a monument in memory of the men who lost their lives. Grime Thorpe Colony, 1894 to 1993. Can't get me bearings right now because it's all changed, but I can't even think where a bit were. I'm sure it will lower down valley. But uh, in its heyday, probably 8,000 men employed at Grimethorpe. Well, Grimethorpe complex, it was linked up with uh, Clare Town, Alton Main, sorry, and Ferrymore, Ferrymore Riddings. But uh, look at this. How many men died down there? Bloody hell. Hell of a lot. And uh, Graham thought, come here, start spouting off, you get your kicked in, because these, these people are proper, from proper coal mining stock. I've got lots of respect for them. Uh, as that for most people from Barnsley, especially coal mining people, because they're just coal, cut them up, and there's coal running through the veins even now. It's built on coal, South Yorkshire's built on coal. A little plaque there, look, this monument was made possible by the generous support, I don't know if I've got it, of many individuals and businesses, not only in Grandford, but in all parts of the United Kingdom, Grandford Miners Memorial Trust. So, 6,000, 8,000 men in its prime, Jesus wept. One of the deepest mines in the country, you know, when it first opened, I don't believe. Uh, went down at Barnsley, seemed like they do. And, uh, well, as run-down places go, this isn't too bad, to be fair. They've worked hard to regenerate it. But I don't know you'd regenerate six, eight thousand jobs. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, what, they ten thousand people working in bloody South Yorkshire and a bit. Not in any jobs worthwhile having. And that's just one pit, or one pit complex, so... Good old Grythorpe. Proper mining people, them lads.